New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys a unique or useful tool that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now, this is an infrared laser thermometer. There's really nothing new about this. They have come down a lot in price, and I myself have always had one, but I recently lost mine. So I went to Harbor Freight, and I bought this guy. Now, I buy a lot of tools from Harbor Freight because, well, I'm cheap, and I don't like to spend a lot of money, and quite frankly, the Harbor Freight tools get the job done, at least for me. The one that I lost was actually small enough to fit in your pocket. It was basically the size of a keychain. I also bought it at Harbor Freight, and you can still buy them for less than $15. They're pretty cool because, well, they'll give you a very quick surface temperature of just about anything you point it at. But the model we're gonna talk about today is one of Harbor Freight's higher end models. It is an Ames 20 to one infrared laser thermometer. Now what 20 to one means is it's going to measure a one inch round pattern at 20 inches away. That's gonna be the average surface temperature that it's going to read. The further away you pull your device back, the bigger that pattern is gonna be, and the closer you take it, the smaller the pattern is gonna be. But at 20 inches away, you get a one inch pattern. Remember that, and that'll help you use these a little more accurately. Now, if you are not familiar with how these work, they, well, they work quite simply. You point and shoot. You point them at the device you want to measure the temperature of, and you pull the trigger. So this water bottle I pulled out of the fridge about a half an hour ago. It's been sitting on my counter, and we're going to pull the trigger, and it says it is 54.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna take a guess, that's probably accurate. It's been sitting out here in the shop for a little bit. How about we take the reading of something out of my freezer? This is a, uh, well, this is lunch. It's probably potato soup, but let's go measure it and see what we got. And it says it is 14.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna assume that's probably pretty accurate. How about this hot cup of joe? Well, we're gonna measure 153 degrees. Now again, that's the surface temperature that we're measuring, and there is some caveats to how accurate these can be. So again, surface temperature, but also shiny things. Sometimes it doesn't measure as accurately. Glass and things like that, sometimes it doesn't measure as accurately. Now you can take a piece of like black tape and put on something and then shoot the black tape. That'll give you a little better reading as long as you let that tape warm up to temperature. Now in the manual, it does tell you how you can accommodate and adjust for some of these to get a little better reading. In fact, it has a nice little chart here on what settings you need when you're measuring things things like copper, cast iron, or hot food. Now, personally, I'm never really after that accurate of a temperature. I'm just trying to get a rough idea of what these temperatures are. I might measure the engine temperature of my car, or I might shoot it at the motor of my air compressor to see how hot that motor is getting. I might even shoot it at the heads of the air compressor to see how hot the heads are getting. It's not really that important to me to be super accurate, but I do want a good rough idea of what those temperatures are. So I kind of keep the settings just on auto because it's not that important to me. Now, a lot of these laser thermometers have a little laser on there and the laser doesn't really do anything but show you where you're pointing the device at. This one also has a laser, but it kind of has a cool little spread on it that kind of gives you an indication of what it's measuring. And remember, it's doing an average of whatever's in the circle at one inch when it's 20 inches away. So this gives you a rough idea that this is just about one inch at 20 inches. So we know that it's measuring everything within the circle and the closer you get, the smaller the circle gets. Now this particular unit does have a nice, relatively large color LCD screen on the back and I kind of like it. It's easy to read and there are some things you can change such as you can take it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, it does have a reference point that you can set that way if it goes over that reference point, it'll let you know. It does not have a minimal or maximum memory on it. So some of these, when you're pointing at a device, it'll show you the maximum over the overall time that you've been pointing at something, or it'll show you the minimals. This does not have that, you're kind of on your own. Other than that, it's actually a really nice device, and I think for the price, it's pretty good. So if you really want a high-end unit to get temperatures, at least surface temperatures, then you might want to look for one of these at Harbor Freight, and maybe look for one of these when they go on sale. So I guess that gives you a very quick and dirty review of one of Harbor Freight's infrared laser thermometer. Again, this is an Ames. It is one of the higher ends. They actually have one that's about $20, and it does have a maximum and minimal memory on the screen. Uh, the major differences are it isn't quite built as well as this. It doesn't feel as good. The LCD screen is just black and white, not quite as crisp, but it will get the job done. So if you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.